Do you want to create a post in your new auto list using Metricool? In the next few minutes, I'm going to teach you everything you need to know about scheduling social media content on Metricool to recycle social media posts. My name is Elise Nelson and I help tech challenge makers build a profitable e-commerce brand. Thanks for joining me on my YouTube channel where I offer lessons that are 15 minutes or less to help you grow your e-commerce shop. In this short video, I'm going to answer the question, can I use Metricool to post on all social media and queue social media posts? Before we jump into this maker lesson, I'd love to know how often you post to social media. Leave a comment and let me know. In this video, I'm going to be demonstrating how to create a post in an existing auto list in Metricool, which is my favorite social media scheduler. If you missed the last video all about evergreen posting and why it's so important to your e-commerce business, be sure to go back and watch it so that you know how to set up your auto lists in Metricool. All right, so we're going to jump right over to Metricool and I'm going to show you how we're going to do this. Okay, so here we are in Metricool. You want to make sure you go to the planning tab and then auto lists and then you're going to select your list. You should have already made the list in the last video. If you have any questions about that, go back to the previous video. You're going to make sure that you confirm all your settings based upon what we discussed in the previous video. And of course, the link to that is in the description. If you want more help with your e-commerce shop, subscribe and sign up for notifications on my YouTube channel where I offer lessons that are 15 minutes or less to help you grow your e-commerce shop. Now that we're into our auto list, we have to decide where we want to put the post. Do we put it at the top or at the bottom? Now on this particular one, we don't have any posts yet. So you only have one option to insert post and that's going to put it at the beginning. But if you were in an auto list like this one, where there's already a lot of posts, you can either click the insert post and it would put it at the beginning of the feed or you can come all the way to the bottom and click the append post and that's going to put it at the bottom. The posts that are closer to the top in an auto list are what are going to be posted first. So by putting it at the bottom, it means it's going to be the last thing to post that's from this list and putting it at the top means it's going to be the first thing to post. So you need to decide which one of these are what you're wanting to have happen. And then once you've added your post, you can drag it around. So if, for example, you put it at the bottom because you want it to be closer to the bottom, you can still drag it and move it up. So let's say we put this post in, but I don't want it to be here. I want it to be further up. If I come to this gray area to see how the cursor chains it changes, I can click on that top gray area and move it up to a different location. And that's as easy as it is to move them around and reorganize them. All right. So let's go back to our blank auto list that we are working on today. We are going to click on insert post to make a new post. Then you're going to write your copy. Like so. You want to make sure that you're thinking about which platforms you're using because every platform does have different, different ideal um, types of copy. So for example, on Facebook, you should have a URL link that they can actually click on with zero to two hashtags. A lot of people just use zero hashtags on Facebook, but if you really wanna use hashtags, you can use up to two. On Instagram, you do not want to put a clickable link because they cannot click it. Instead, you should put click link in bio and then put your handle tag. And of course, on Instagram, you can use up to 30 hashtags. And how many you should use is debatable, but you can use up to 30. On Twitter, again, we're looking at a URL and two to three hashtags, plus there is a 280 character limit. On Pinterest, we want a URL with zero to two hashtags, and there's a 500 character limit. And on TikTok, we need a URL and two to three hashtags, and there's a 150 character limit. So depending upon your platform is going to determine how long your post can be, how many hashtags you need, and whether or not you're going to include a URL. So you want to keep that in mind when you're setting up your um, list, your auto lists. All right, so let's say for this particular post, I'm going to go ahead and make this be an Instagram post. So I'm going to say, click link in bio to shop. Um, yeah, at my scheduled bits and see this is me. So that is how you would do it if it was Instagram. And then of course you would follow this with some hashtags. Um, and that would be for an Instagram post. If you were doing Facebook, you wouldn't put click link in bio. You would just say shop the sh shop here or something like that. So depending upon which one you're using is going to determine what you're going to do. 
Now, before we jump into the rest of the lesson, please like this video. Also, be sure to stick with me to the end of the video to learn your challenge for today because every single one of my videos is going to give you a challenge to implement what you've learned. All right, so the next thing you're going to do is you are going to upload your image or video. So if it is an image, you are going to use this little icon. If it is a video, you are going to use this little icon. If you want to use a GIF that you find from another source, you can use this and you can also add emojis. So let's say we're going to do this and we are going to use this emoji. Yay. And we are going to find a GIF. So we'll just use this one. Now you can see I've got this set up for Google My Business and so it's saying GIFs are not supported. So I would have to turn off Google My Business to use this GIF. But now you can see there's the GIF that I've uploaded. Here's my copy. Once you've done that, you want to confirm that the image or video has uploaded. So I'm gonna go ahead and click back and I'm gonna come back into it because I want to double check that the thing was actually attached. So do you see how right here I can see that it shows it's there? Sometimes if it doesn't properly upload, this will not be here. And that tells you that your video, your GIF, your image did not actually attach. And so I always go in and double check that these are here, whether I'm uploading from a CSV file or manually creating the post, because otherwise this isn't going to post with the video or image. So you wanna make sure that that has confirmed. Today's question was, how often do you post to social media? Leave a comment and let me know. Get the Metrical full tutorial by watching the Metrical tutorial playlist. Also, be sure to get the easiest social media organization system and schedule all your posts on all your platforms with just this one spreadsheet. The links for those, of course, are in the description. Also, be sure to watch my last YouTube video about why social media evergreen content is so important for your e-commerce shop. In the next video, we'll be discussing using a social media marketing plan spreadsheet and how to organize content using Metricool. If you want to get the social media marketing plan spreadsheet and be able to recycle social media posts, click the link in the description for the easiest social media organization system spreadsheet, which we'll be discussing how to use in the next video. Your challenge for today is to create one evergreen social media post that could be used again and again to market your e-commerce shop. Don't forget to live your dream every single day, and I will see you in the next lesson.